In today's video, I want to talk about static variables and what that actually means in C. All right, so to do this, first we're going to create a simple function. So I'm going to say int add, right, a number, whatever that might be. So add x, and I want a uh, sum that's going to be initialized with zero, and then we're going to add x to that sum and return it, just like so, right? Simple enough. And now what I want is to print the result of add, right? Just say, let's say print f percent d for just an int, and we're going to say add 5, right? So if I run this simple enough, we're going to get, well, 5, of course, because why? Simple. Sum is 0, and then you add 5 to sum, which is going to make it 5, and we're going to return 5, and that's going to be printed on the screen. Now, what's going to happen if I call this multiple times? Well, if I run this, you'll notice that all of them are 5. Of course they are, because every single time we go over, well, sum is 0, and then we add 5 to it, and we return that 5 every single time. Now, here's the interesting part. What happens if I actually add static to this variable, basically making it a static vari variable? Let's see. Let's see first with just one run of this function, right? If I run this, well, that's still 5, right? That's fine and dandy. We get it's 0, and then we add 5 to it, and then we, we return this, this sum. Now, if I uncomment this and run it like so, you'll notice something very peculiar. We get 5, 10, and 15. What does that mean? That means that these previous calls actually influenced the last two calls of the function, right? Well, what's, what's happening here? Because it's kind of hard to understand how does that 5 become a 10 and then a 15. Well, that's actually not that difficult. What static says to any variable, it says, oh, this function is special. So initialize it when starting the program, right? Initialize it, allocate space and everything whenever you start the program. And when you execute it, right? You don't reinitialize it, you just kind of have it somewhere in, in the space, let's say, and um, it's zero. And then you simply add to this to this sum, to this variable five, and you return five, that's fine the first time. But the second time, or like before the function is finished executing, this variable never changes. The, the value that was uh, set after adding five to this sum is still, well, it's still there. The memory is still there, still allocated, right? So if I try, for example, to modify this to a six, let's say, if I run this again, see, it actually changed the numbers, right? So whatever changes I do to every single call, it actually changes this, this uh, variable, right? In simpler terms, what this static does to a variable, it simply makes it a sort of global variable that is allocated at runtime. Whenever you start the actual program, it's there in memory all the time until the program finishes its execution, right? And it keeps its value updated, right? So it's sort of a global variable, but with limited scope. So if I say, for example, if I try to, I don't know, print F, let's say, I don't know, sum, right? It would kind of make sense if it were a, a normal global variable, right? But if I try to compile this, well, no, I cannot actually access that. So that's about it with the static variables. Nothing, nothing really fancy, right? I hope you understood something from this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. I might uh, reply to them. Or if they are something more complicated, I might even make a, another video based on them. I need more ideas, right? Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time.